for today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shingen Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a really small video just talking about um, the new introduction of the NVIDIA's DLAA, which is the acronym from uh, for uh, Deep Learning anti-aliasing. As you know, they have the LSS, which is the deep learning uh, super sampling, which basically uh, reduces the native resolution, so gets and uses a lower resolution and then reconstructs the image using AI technology. As for the DLAA, the, the objective is the same, basically do an anti-aliasing, which removes those hard edges. It, it's, the anti-aliasing anti is basically a, an edge smoother. Okay, so when you have those rough edges in games because of the, the lower resolution, for example, the anti-aliasing will actually smoothen those edges, okay? We now have, for example, the MSAA, we have FXAA, and we have the, the most commonly used nowadays, which is the TAA, Temporal Anti-Aliasing, okay? And now NVIDIA introduces the DLAA, which is the, the Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing, okay? So it is supposed to be better at reconstructing the image than TAA uh, with a minimal performance loss, okay? Now I'm using the Tech Power Up website to actually show you a review they made um, a review they made with actually uh, with uh, the, DLA, the DLAA tested on the Elder Scrolls Online, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Anyway, let's go for example for the screenshots. They have some really uh, screenshots, some really good screenshots at 4K with TAA. So with TAA they get 123 FPS and with the LAA they get 111 FPS. So TAA actually has uh, 12 more FPS, okay? So the, um, the heat in terms of performance is quite there, but, that, but as you can see the, the LAA does bring better better results it seems for example as you can see as you pass here the LAA brings a smoother image with less jaggy foliage even more the foliage the um, for example as you can see the rocks there there are no difference in the stones here but mostly on the foliage the difference is quite considerable let's okay we can zoom in let's zoom in and see what it does precisely. So as you can see, take for example this part where I have the mouse, this foliage. You can see that the TAA, uh, with the TAA you can see the pixels a bit more. When moving to the LAA, yeah, the image gets reconstructed quite better. Yeah, if we look at the, um, the orange foliage, we can clearly see that the pixels are way, way more um, perceptible while using TAA considerably, uh, while using TAA in comparison with uh, the, the DLAA, yes. TAA now, DLAA now, yes. Way better in terms of overall quality, no doubts. And even that, that tree there, with TAA we get jaggier edges, while with the LAA it's way better. On the tree itself, on the tree texture, you can't see much difference, but in the foliage it does make difference. It does make the difference. Let's see the next image now at 1440p to see how it handles lower resolutions, okay? We have the... Um, the TAA at 187 FPS and the DLAA at 180 FPS, so almost no difference in terms of averages, okay? Or at least in this part. Okay, TAA, DLAA. Hmm. Once again, it's basically the foliage, the foliage that makes the most difference. Let's see, for example, in here. As you can see, we get smoother and less sharper image uh, in these textures, these textures. But 
making, for example, a comparison of the foliage once again in the in the trees. Look at this. It's basically all pixelated, and when we use the LAA, we get quite smoother image. It's not that noticeable as in 4K, but pretty noticeable. Maybe you can't really notice notice it on the video, but I can notice it here. And mostly on the brighter colors, the DLAA makes a better job in these. Hmm, interesting. Let's go for the, um, for the 1080p results. Now we don't have the FPS numbers, but it's basically two FPS difference, so 178 to 180, 180 with the TAA, 178 with the DLAA. Let's see the difference with the full image. Hmm. Now at 1080p the difference is almost unnoticeable. Yeah. Not much of a difference, just some color tone, some shading, a bit different. Yeah, basically at 1080p the difference isn't much. Let's see for example the stones here. The man dancing. We also have this video, by the way, if you want to, to watch the video, uh, you have the video link in the description, testing the DLAA, um, the LSS, the LAA and TAA, I don't know why they test the LSS. I know that it reconstructs the image, but it is not at native resolution, so... But well, it, it may be fun to, to watch, at least. Anyway, you have this video, link in the description, like I said before, and it's interesting um, that... That at 1080p the resolution the the difference is quite quite small and at 4K it is the biggest and I'm saying it is interesting but it is predictable because as you know uh, at 1080p both both technologies reconstruct the image per se to get the smoother edges but at 1080p you don't have much to reconstruct so the the amount of pixels is way too low. Uh, so we don't really have much to reconstruct while at 1440p you have a better amount of pixels a higher amount of pixels so you have more to reconstruct so uh, you have better results with the LAA and at 4k even better at 4k you have better results with the LAA considerably better than the TAA because it has more way more pixels to reconstruct so with way more pixels, the LAA will be way better than TAA. So at lower resolutions like 1080p and 1440p, the difference won't be much. But at 4K, you can definitely notice the difference quality uh, for the LAA. So the LAA will be better uh, at higher resolutions compared to TAA. But will be only able to be used with the RTX 2000 and 3000 series and the next ones because of the um, of the AI course in the card. So yeah, basically that's it. At higher resolutions the LAA is way better and at lower resolutions it won't make much difference because because it won't have uh, as much to reconstruct per se, okay? So yeah. And yeah guys, basically that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And leave in the comment section your opinion about the DLAA and if it is actually worth or not. And yeah, you, you won't be buying uh, an RTX only for the LAA, but it, it is also good to have. And it will also push AMD to actually bring something new. So yeah, this is just a game and in other games the implementation may, may be way better and maybe uh, what we actually need in terms of of implementation because TAA is deficient in some scenarios and maybe the DLAA can bring way better image quality in those same scenarios where the TAA is deficient. Once again, leave your comment in the comment section and let me, let me know what you think. Damn, waking up early is not easy. See you in the next video guys.